So this was already one of my favorite drafts of all time, mainly because the Vikings finally did something about the offensive line with Christian Derrissaw and Wyatt Davis, no matter what. They got their quarterback of the future in Kellen Mond in a great spot in the third round. And I thought, okay, day three, everything is gravy. But little did I know that the Vikings, with their final pick, 199, a.k.a. the Tom Brady pick, would snag one of my favorite players in the draft, Jalen Twyman coming out of Pitt just adding to that defensive line because even though you brought back uh, Michael Pierce uh, from his uh, 2020 opt-out and you signed Diesel Dalvin Tomlinson, there was just room in that defensive tackle room for the three tech that someone who's going to bring a little bit of heat, a little bit of stank on passing downs, even though they wouldn't free James Lynch and Jalen Twyman is going to be that dude. And I absolutely adore the selection. Let's talk about today. Jalen Twyman, 21 years young, six foot two, three Oh one Retcher jr. Former three-star recruit from Washington, DC was a one hit wonder with the Panthers 2019 10 and a half sacks 36 pressures 74.3 PFF grade ended up opting out of 2020 because he wanted to financially take care of his family at that time pro day it was so weird it was so weird great in the bench great invert but just completely fell on his face in speed and agility which does not sync up with the tape at all he is a guy with a great burst great first step and can really get after a great short area quickness and can be that penetrating three tech so i think the teams mainly got scared off because of one year production opted out of 2020 so you don't have a ton of film and then this pro day after he had a full season to get ready for it and hey their loss is the Vikings gain because now you have a guy, uh, Jalen Twyman, high character kid. Now he's got a massive chip on his shoulder coming in as a six round pick. Six round pick. I had 10 and a half sacks in 2019, man. Come on. And I think that he can play a key role platooning on the Vikings defensive line in their rotation on third down. Just give him that B gap. Let him blow it up. And this Vikings team is going to hunt, man. The Rushmen are absolutely back because you look at who they added. Patrick Jones, the second teammate at Pitt. Uh, Janoris Robinson coming out of Florida State. DJ Wanamir, too. Oh, yeah, by the way, Daniil, the real deal hunter, will be back. Maybe they get something out of Willikis. Maybe they're free. James Lynch and now they got Jalen Twyman in the building come on come the F on and I know it's so easy as Vikings fans to have oh undersized defensive tackle he's gonna be the next John Randall I'm not ready to saddle him with those expectations same thing hey just because he wore number 97 at Pitt doesn't mean he's gonna be the next Aaron Donald but could he be the first Jalen Twyman absolutely friggin lutely I love this kid I love this pick and hell 15 20 years from now Pick 199 in the draft won't be known as a Tom Brady pick. It's going to be known as a Jalen Twyman pick. Woo! I said it. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, be your thoughts. Jalen Twyman, Vikings, pick 199. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.